What's up guys? It's me Megan. Um, this is my fourth. You see that? I just went fourth. This is my fourth. I meant to go fourth. This is my fourth YouTube video. And it is all about bullying. <laughs> um, it's about being bullied in high school and middle. It was more middle school. It was honestly all these stories are more from middle school. Um, none are really from high school at all, but it's about bullying in school, let's say, and how it affected me and my mental health. So, if you are wondering, or if you need some sort of, like, tips, and not really tips, I don't really have many tips, um, just to know that you're not alone. If you want to hear my story, continue watching. <laughs> So for those of you who don't know, I have trichotillomania. It is a disorder where I pull out my hair. I pull out my eyelashes and the hair on top of my head, which is the reason why I wear um, the headband and hats in like all my videos. My first video was all about my trichotillomania. So if you wanna go watch that, you can go hear my story about it. Um, but yeah, so something I didn't reflect on in that video was being bullied because, um, that's a thing that happens when you have bald patches. Um, it sucks because people should just mind their own damn business, but that is something that definitely happens, um, especially if you are in middle school. Middle school um, was probably the worst years of my life. It was three years of the worst years of my life. So, oh my God, my snake is being so funny right now. My snake is being so funny right now. This video, I really want to aim at a younger audience, um, people who are in middle school and even high school, and I just want them to know that you guys are not alone. This happens to almost everybody. Pretty much everybody probably has a story about being bullied in middle school or high school. Um, so just know that you're not alone, and I hope my story resonates with any of you, and just makes you guys feel less alone and know that you're not an outcast just because you're bullied because it definitely makes you feel like an outcast. So we're gonna start as young as the fourth grade. <laughs> so when I was in the fourth grade is when I first started pulling out my eyelashes. I have no idea why I started pulling out my eyelashes to this day. I don't know why I do it, um, but I do it. So I was in religion class and this boy told me that I looked like an alien and I mean I do look kind of freaky like when I don't have my fake eyelashes on I look pretty freaky <laughs> if you're if you don't pull out your hair and you don't really know what a bald eye looks like then it is pretty freaky to see for the first time but um I remember being called an alien and that was like probably the first time I can remember um being bullied I wore I would always wear my bangs literally like over my eyes and this boy just looked at me and was like you look like an alien and I was like what <laughs> and he was just like what's wrong with your eyes and I was like and whenever like anybody would say anything I would just completely shut down I would just be like I don't know I don't know and I would just like look away and like talk to my friends and be like so like what are you guys doing but most bullies are relentless they don't care so um i don't remember what he said after that but i know he either like went like something like like weird or like something he made some remark and i just remember being like fuck um so yeah so that was the first dose of um being bullied that i got um now we're gonna go to the fifth grade um, was probably the worst. Everybody in school would ask me. Everybody in school would be like, be either say like, Megan, like, why do you wear your bangs long? Like, why do your eyes look funny? Why this? Why that? And I remember just wishing like, why do they have to care? Like, like, can they just mind their business? Like, I hate it. Like, I hated myself. Like, so yeah, so in the fifth grade, it was the same thing. Just everybody would always be asking me like, like, why do you wear your, I remember, oh my gosh, going to my friend's house for dinner and um, this one friend specifically, her dad would always be like, I'm gonna cut your bangs. Like, 
your bangs are way too long you look like a punk rocker like i'm gonna cut your bangs just you wait and see and i would be like shitting in my pants because like my bangs are the only thing that cover my eyes right now so if he did cut them and i remember thinking like oh my god because i would sleep there a lot i would be like oh my god what if he cuts them in my sleep which would obviously be fucking ridiculous but i was like just so scared i just remember being so scared when i was younger um so it was just all of fifth grade like my teachers would ask like everybody would ask me like why do you look like that <laughs> so in sixth grade i remember i had this one teacher that would push my bangs out of my eyes every single time she saw me and I literally like people probably thought I was like freaking abused like if they she would go near my face to touch and I would be like like I'm like cowering like it's like but like again like I didn't like that woman was just like she was a TA she wasn't even a teacher and like can you just mind your own business <laughs> like don't push my bangs out of my eyes and like remember the number one thing was teachers would always just ask me like like Megan like tell your mom she has to cut your bangs and stuff like that and I would just be like okay I will so whatever so then in seventh grade I believe um I wasn't pulling out my eyelashes as much anymore. I started pulling out my hair way more. And when I started pulling out my hair, I would put eyeshadow over the bald spots. And I remember sitting in chorus class and in chorus class we would sit like in like, it was like, what am I trying to say? Um, uh, I don't even know. They're like steps. Like each of us had our own step of like it was like rows that would like go up. I probably sound like an idiot. There must be a name for it or something. But I was in like the middle-ish step, I guess. And then above me, there was these girls um, who would just always be like, "Ugh, I don't even know." They would just like comment on the fact that I had eyeshadow over my bald spots. They would be like, they would be like, "Oh my God, like Megan, like what happened to your hair?" And I remember I used to say. Um, <laughs> I used to say I burnt it off with like a hair straightener and they would be like oh my god blah blah like the eyeshadow I can tell it's eyeshadow and I would just be like fuck like fuck <laughs> um so yeah I then that's when I got permission to wear hats in school from the principal and he was supposed to tell all of my teachers and he probably did tell all of my teachers that I'm allowed to wear hats in school but they were they just sucked um, one of my teachers, I remember every single day would be like, would, would be like, why do you cover your pretty hair? Like, take off your hat. Like, you have such pretty hair. Take it off. Take it off. And I would just be like, no, like, please. Like, there's so many mean kids in my class right now. Like, don't bring any attention to me because kids in the hallway used to always take off my hat. And I would walk around with a hoodie just in case because it have it was like an everyday thing. Um, kids would come and take off my hat and like run away with it. So I was like fucked. So I would have to put up a hoodie and um, So my one teacher that I had used to always in class bring up like like you should take it off Like you have such pretty hair like don't cover it up like why do you cover it up or whatever and then um, One day one of the kids in her class took off my hat and my bald spots were like showing so i was like sitting like an idiot i was literally sitting like this and she came up to me and she was like she was like why would you do that to yourself is that why you wear your hat why would you do that to yourself and i remember just being like like i don't know <laughs> like i don't know why i do it to myself like it sucks i know i don't know why i do it to myself though so um i remember that made me feel really shitty but back to kids taking off my hat um it actually I was so scared to go to school every single day like I was so scared to go to school um I remember I would make my mom like drive me, like make me go in late to school so I didn't have to walk through the hallways because that's when they would get me is when we were walking in the hallways and um I used to like make her drop me off later like even like two periods later because I was so scared because I knew when like some of the bullies would be in the hallway to come take my hat um, but I would like beg my mom. I would be like, I want to be homeschooled. I want to stay home. Like, I don't want to go to school anymore. Like, I hate it there. I'm so scared. Like, I was so scared walking through the halls. It was, it was really scary. Um, so yeah, so I remember another time, actually, this is still during my hat phase. Um, I was 
at in the auditorium and we were doing something like we were like raising um we were standing up for the pledge of allegiance and the librarian came over to me and she was like come over here and i was like what and she was like she was like take off your hat and i was like no sorry like i'm allowed to wear it and then i remember um all the kids around me were like well if she's allowed to wear it then i'm allowed to wear it and she was like she was like you see what you're doing you see what you're doing and i was like i don't mean to <laughs> like i don't mean to be doing this like i'm so sorry and all the other kids would be like why are you allowed to like why would the principal give you permission like is there something like you're hiding and i would just be like no i'm just allowed to like i don't know what the fuck to say so i remember um the teacher like went up to the principal and i saw them like whispering to each other and then whatever like he obviously told her like sorry bitch she can wear her hat <laughs> um but yes yeah, so remember that was just another time um so still in my hat phase we're gonna keep talking about that um the worst thing i think that happened to me so in middle school obviously like everybody has like their own like lunch table that they sit at with their friends and even if you're not friends with everybody at the table like it's just like you know like your acquaintance your acquaintances with everybody at the table so like they're all kind of your friends like you're you're mutual with each other and this one girl um, it was only me and her sitting at the table at the time and like we weren't that close with each other because she was kind of known as like Like a crazy girl. <laughs> so we weren't like that close with each other But I remember her being like why are you wearing that like my hat and like I was like I like it and she was like can I see it and I was like no so she literally grabbed my hat and pulled it off like ac from across the table she was like Phew. and I was like oh fuck so i put on my hood and i was like and i was like can i have my hat back and she was like and she was like i don't know why you always gotta wear it like why do you always have to wear this hat blah, blah. and i was just like i just like it i just like my hat like can you give it back and then she, she was like i don't know if she said something to me before she started doing this but the next thing i remember is she grabbed my hood that i had over my head and she just started slamming my face into the table because like my hood was up here and I was like holding on to it so she couldn't take it off. So she had it by like the front and she was just like going like this with just like trying to take it off of me. And I was like, what the fuck? Like I was so fucking scared. I was like, oh my God, I'm being attacked. <laughs> so um, it, it didn't hurt my face cause I was like this holding it. So like, it was just like this part of my arms were being hit into it, but um, but yeah. So I remember her just like fucking smashing me into the table. And then I think, I think i can remember it was one of my friends i was really close with um he was one of my like boyfriends it's not a boyfriend he was just one of my friends that were a boy and i'm pretty sure that he came over and was like what the hell like what are you doing and i was just kind of like oh, i gotta go and i think i went and like ate lunch in the bathroom <laughs> um but yeah so that was like probably the scariest um thing that has happened to me with my hair and people coming at me for it after the hat thing, obviously it wasn't working because people could rip off my hat. I decided like, okay, I have to think of something else that's a little bit more secure. So I would braid my headband. Um, it was like a bandana that had long like, you know, cloths coming down from it. So I would braid my hair into it. So that was definitely like much more secure. Like um, people weren't able to just freaking like rip off my bandana because it was like attached to my hair. So. Eventually though, I pulled out so much hair that I couldn't really braid my hair into it anymore and I just kind of looked stupid. So my mom brought me to this place in Queens to get my weave done. And then I had a weave, which by the way, I didn't speak about this in the last video, but I hated the weave so much that I ended up ripping it off my head. And it was like, it's like connected by all these little like um, flat like pin thingies. I probably sound so stupid because I don't know how it's actually like put together, but I like ripped that off. Like it was so uncomfortable and I remember just having a headache constantly and I was like 12 I think and I just freaking ripped it off my head, but that's besides the point. So I would wear it as a wig and braid it into my bandana, but my friends, um, and they were like, this all came from like a good place. They didn't mean anything. They basically told me to take off my bandana and I should just wear my wig because like I paid a lot of money for it. Well, my mom paid a lot of money for it. So like I should embrace it. I should go outside and wear my wig in the school hallways. So I took off my bandana in the school bathroom and I remember like I hated it. Like I remember it looked like a fucking wig, but 
all my friends were like, no, stop it. Like, you look so good. You look so good. And I was like, okay, let me go outside. So I went out into the hallway and I was literally out there for probably like, like it had to be like 20 seconds until a boy was like, why are you wearing a wig? And I was like, okay, <laughs> I'm going to go back and put my bandana back on because screw that. Um, so yeah, so I went back in, put my bandana back on, and ever since then I never took my bandana off again. Like, even with my family, I would never let them see my weave because I was just embarrassed. It's honestly just, having trichotillomania is just so embarrassing. It's honestly just an embarrassing disorder, um, which it shouldn't be, but it is. It's embarrassing for me, at least. So, um, I would only wear my bandana and I would still, I started pulling out my eyelashes again. I had like no eyelashes, so from like my profile, um, you can see that there's no eyelashes coming out. And I remember kids in class used to always be like, be like, I remember this one girl, she used to come up like literally next to me and just be like, whoa! And she would do this like every week and I would be like, yes, like we've established this, like you have established this, you know I have no eyelashes. And she would be like, where are your eyelashes? And I would just be like, girl, I don't know, like on the floor somewhere. So I would, again, traumatized, I would just be like, be like, oh, and so what are you doing? Like, hey, what's up to like the person next to me? Like just completely try to ignore it. But then I remember um, one time that girl got like the girl sitting next to her to also come up to me and be like, whoa and i was like what the fuck <laughs> like fuck off everybody and i remember people like the biggest thing was so annoying people would be like be like you looked so much prettier without your bandana like why do you wear it and i would be like girl i like i know like they would always say these things that like i would be thinking about myself already like i, I thought so bad about myself um i just like genuinely i really hated myself like i did not like the person i was like who like why why would i who pulls out their hair who does that so like i hated it so they would just basically like re-say everything that i'm already saying in my head they would just be like you look so much prettier without your bandana like you should we take it off and like i know that like it probably came from a good place like they were just trying to be like girl like rock it like don't care like what other people think or some shit like that but like i was like stop <laughs> like leave me alone um so yeah it was honestly just a lot of comments just a lot of rude comments so yeah so that's basically all the stuff um that happened with like when i had my bandana on and like when i was like super bad with pulling um but my pulling got better in the ninth grade. I was actually able to take off my bandana and my wig and I had just like super short haircut. And I remember then the big thing was I was a dyke. Everybody, like when I say everybody, I mean like three people, but still like kind of sucks. Like those are three people. They, this one person literally Instagram messaged me and they were like, you're a dyke. And I was like, okay <laughs> like no i'm not i just have short hair and they would be like it's ugly and i'd be like okay cool um but yeah so basically getting bullied sucks and i do want to say that after like the ninth grade um the 10th 11th and 12th grade although i still struggled with my hair um i wasn't bullied nearly as much like basically at all basically what i want to say is that i know that bullying follows people um throughout high school and even past high school and i'm so lucky right now that i have so much support and that i'm not really bullied at all anymore um i'm really 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 lucky and grateful for that but i do want to let everyone know that there is an end to everything like you just have to find a good group of people you have to find a support system and you just have to screw the other people i know when you're living it in the moment being bullied is like the worst thing in the world and you feel like there's there's nothing there's nothing else you can do like this is it like you're just gonna be bullied forever and it makes you feel so horrible like i remember i was scared i hated myself i was so depressed like it was horrible it was such a horrible time so i understand how you feel but there's an end to it there's an end to everything like that's not gonna be your life forever just know that you have such a bright future and that you have so much to look forward to in your life like 
like right now middle school and like like for my middle my little sister she was just in middle school she's now in ninth grade so she's in high school and like i see the things that like like girls do and i remember like living through it and just and like boys too and living through it and just like like it sucks it sucks but trust me once you're older and you're more mature and you just know like that was shitty like middle schoolers fucking suck high schoolers fucking suck like Trust me, there is a light at the end of the tunnel and you will get through it. Um, I just hope that my stories helped anyone to help them feel not alone. I want anybody who has been bullied, who is being bullied, to comment down below so we can have a conversation about this because I think it helps to talk about it. I think it helps so much to talk about it. So if you ever need anything, comment down below or DM me on Instagram at Megan Prosser. I'll put it up here and just Please, at the end of the day, know that you are not alone and your life and your well-being is the only thing that matters right now. It's the only thing that matters right now if you're being bullied. So please just think about yourself and how much of a value you have to this world. Um, that got really deep, but I, I, I had to say it. I had to say it because I remember feeling like I had no value at all in this world and that I should just... It should just be it. Like, I shouldn't try anymore. I shouldn't try. But you should try. You should get through it. It gets better. So yeah. Um, another video that led into the darkness. It's very dark now. The sun has set. Um, but I hope you all enjoyed this video. I will be back for more eventually. And I just hope you guys have a great day if you need anything. Um, like I said, comment, DM me, I'm always around. You can even email me at meganprosser at gmail.com. Megan is spelled with two N's. All my information is going to be in the description box down below. And don't forget to subscribe, like this video, and tune in more for next time. Love you all. Bye.